Hello Taurus, I'm here to give you insight for the month of May. Let's see what's going on with you guys. What are the potential energies for Taurus? <clears throat> Happy birthday Taurus. I'm actually recording this on the 24th of April. So I know some of you Tauruses um, are celebrating a birthday this month. Or for the remainder of this month going into May. So happy birthday. Okay, let's see the chef Okay. Try someone's not keeping it real. I had a hard time getting that out. <laughs> so yeah, maybe somebody's telling you something and they're not keeping it real, or somebody could see you as such. angry you're angry somebody's angry you're witnessing somebody angry it could be you're angry because someone's not keeping it real or someone's angry because you're not keeping it real holding on to pain holding on to the past so you could be doing this or somebody you're dealing with I was hearing reoccurring events. So there's an energy of like something playing over and over in your head or, or over and over in someone's head. Taurus, you need to look at yourself. I was also hearing that some of you uh, may need to focus on yourself instead of focusing on others or, you know, focusing on other drama or whatever, or focusing on the past. Focus on yourself, okay? Look at yourself. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh Lord, lying. So you could see someone as lying or someone could see you as such. And then we have holding grudge. Makes a lot of sense because we had the holding on to pain past. So holding on to a grudge. So you very well could be holding on to a grudge or somebody's holding on to this grudge. All right, trauma. So there is some trauma for some of you. You could be experiencing this. So maybe somebody's trying to inflict trauma on you. Taurus, take it as it resonates. What the hell is going on? Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what type of energies are going to be surrounding you. Okay, let's see what's going on. So this, this deck is uh, definitely not rated G. Okay, so there are some crazy cards in here, but we're going to take a look and see what energies you're going to be dealing with, Taurus, in the month of May. What energies are going to be surrounding you? If it's not somebody else, this could be you, all right? But I'm just going to refer, as I do the reading, I'll just refer to it as someone, okay? Because I hate having to say, it could be you or the other person, you know? I mean, it's, it's really fucking annoying. All right, so Taurus, let's see what energies are going to be surrounding you or what energies are you going to be encountering you know what's going on okay someone is being goofy and playful okay they could be in this energy you know in a high vibrational energy having fun being silly or somebody just plays too damn much they're not being serious i was hearing i just want to play i just want to have fun acts like a stranger so someone is acting like a stranger it says i don't know you man so someone is pushing someone away all right or i was getting the mariah carey energy i don't know her <laughs> somebody saying i don't know her okay mm -mm, i don't know you throw shade so somebody is throwing shade I don't know you throw a shade it's, I'm getting the energy of being out in a public place and you run into somebody that you may know and you know you may brush them off like I don't know you <laughs> you may you know you may turn around but like, okay mm -hmm. all right girl bye <laughs> Nene leaks okay <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that um, meme uh, with Nene Leakes, she's just, she has a hand on her, her chin and she's just like waving by. I think it's to, uh, who is that girl? 
I can't remember her name. <clears throat> They'll probably come to me later. But anyways, uh, somebody's throwing shade, okay? They're like, I don't like you. You are just, this is definitely energy of a hater. Dates lookalike. So somebody is dating a lookalike. You could have an ex that is dating somebody that looks like you or resembles you or vice versa. Okay. There's someone who definitely has a type and this could be bringing on, you know, hateration. People are throwing shade because of this. Unhealthy boundaries. So somebody is acting really damn clingy. Um, I was also hearing separation anxiety. So somebody's having separation anxiety or they're still keeping tabs on someone. They want to know what this, where this person's at at all times. No limits and super needy. You could see somebody as such, okay, or some whatever. Vindictive, wow. So there's a vindictive energy around. So it says unreasoning and unwavering desire for revenge. So there is somebody who is seeking revenge. They could be very much so butthurt. Um, their revenge could just be ignoring somebody. There is an energy of somebody ignoring someone and that's like their, that's their revenge. Pretending like they don't even know you anymore or know this person. Superstitious. So somebody's very stupid, superstitious. Someone is feeling like they're, there's a string of bad luck happening for them or they, maybe they're witnessing someone experience this. Um, it says fear of the unknown. So there could be a fear of the unknown here. Someone who's very timid, someone who's not very trusting. There's an the energy of that. I was hearing, I'm weary of you. I don't trust you. It makes a lot of sense with this vindictive person around. Somebody is definitely on their intuition. They know that this person's vindictive. They can't be trusted. Accessory to a crime. Wow. So someone is an accessory to a crime. Whether that be an actual crime or just somebody was present during an act, during something that, I don't know, during an event, somebody was there. It's me and you against the world. So you could, <laughs> you could be, or somebody is involved romantically with, with, um, romantically with someone and they are committing crimes, doing shit like that. What is going on? This is crazy. I was hearing you are the company you keep. So somebody is witnessing someone in the situation where they are uh, um, observing that this person is the company that they keep. I was hearing birds of a feather flock together. Won't commit. So somebody does not want to commit. They don't want any strings attached. I see it says uh, hoes run like buses on the hour, every hour. What is going on? So somebody it could be a hoe or just, you know, really promiscuous and they could be involved with someone and this person could be clinging to them just because they know this person is non-committal. I was also hearing um, wanting what you can't have. So there is an energy of that. Someone... And I was hearing, I'm going to say it, someone was seeing you as such, Taurus. Like, you you just hot. You, you just out in the streets. Upgrades their friends. New them. New friends. So, someone is upgrading their friends. I was hearing no new friends. But for some of you, that may not be the case. Somebody could be desiring for their friend, for someone to upgrade their friends. Maybe to be... Uh, around people who are, you know, happy, positive. This could also be an energy of someone showing a different side because of these new friends, because of these new connections here. Sleeping with the boss. What is going on? Okay, what? Okay, so somebody could be in a situation where their boss is hitting on them or making passes at them and they could be very weary of this uh, others of you I don't know this could really be anybody <laughs> but there is an energy of somebody wanting to sleep their way to the top 
What is going on? These cards are wild. I told y'all. Addicted to porn. What is going on? So there's somebody addicted to porn or somebody could see you as addicted to porn. I was also here with the sleeping with the boss. If this is not literally sleeping, this is somebody who's an opportunist. They will, excuse me, they will brown nose. They will rub, sh you know, elbows with whoever to get to where they need to be. But going back to the addicted to porn, it says damages their relationships and interrupts their daily life. So there's somebody who is uh, constantly online looking up porno or constantly just thinking about the act. This very well could be your supervisor or a boss, which is really weird. No, but it could be you. Yeah, this person has a certain type. I was hearing physique. I was hearing well endowed. What is going on? Okay, super touchy feely at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So there's someone being super touchy feely, crossing boundaries. There is a strong energy of someone just trying to pursue someone, I, like aggressively. They're trying to pursue someone. They're really interested in someone. And there is someone who is not interested. <laughs> They're like, I don't know you. Get away from me. I was also hearing insult. Be very careful. There is someone who does not take rejection very lightly. This could have been somebody that you've made, have became friends with. And they can just be pushing up on you, trying to make advances towards you, be overly pushy. And once rejected, they tend to, you know, become vindictive, revengeful. They want to make your life a living hell. So be careful. Somebody can see, see you as such. Take it as it resonates. Okay. This is crazy. All right. What else is going on with Taurus in the month of May? Okay. Human chameleon. Who are you really? So there is somebody who, you don't really know who they are. Somebody tends to change with the blow of the wind. They just, they're very mutable. So you could be dealing with a mutable sign. This could be a Gemini, a Virgo, um, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces. You could have this, this in your chart. Some of you, I was hearing that maybe you adapt to certain situations. This is just what you do. You adapt. You can, you can fit in anywhere. Afraid to admit their sexuality due to fear of rejection from others. So there is somebody who's afraid to admit their sexuality. Makes a lot of sense because there, there seems to be some porn addiction. So maybe somebody's watching porn and really into certain types of porn because it's in connection to their sexuality and they're maybe having a hard time expressing what they're into or I don't know. It could be the other way around. All right. This is probably why this person has to be a chameleon. They, they kind of have to have a certain face when dealing with this person or dealing with these people, maybe even dealing with family. Who knows? This is wild. All right. Put on blast for their toxic internet scheme. So somebody is being put on blast for being toxic online. Somebody could be accusing you of being toxic online, Taurus. All right. You could be putting somebody on blast. You could you could be witnessing this online. All right. Acts innocent and pretends to play the victim. So there's somebody acting innocent and pret pretending um, to play the victim. They're throwing rocks and hiding their hands. I was hearing backhanded um, comments uh, being just negative. All right. Being a fucking hater. They lose control easily and are not easily consolable so there is somebody who is very emotional i'm picking up on water energy i was hearing pisces scorpio maybe even cancer but just strong water energy here but there's somebody who's losing control it's kind of hard to suit them and this may be why someone is maybe reluctant to expressing how they truly feel to this person because they are just erratic they're kind of all over the place this is the energy i'm getting 
whoever this is could be you or somebody you're witnessing they're genuinely apologetic for what they did wow so somebody is uh, apologizing or you could be apologizing somebody is genuinely sorry and i was hearing that you could actually see this with their uh, through their actions Um, I was going back to this card, the, uh, lose control easily, not easily consolable. It's hard to console them. Um, this person, I don't know. It's just a strong energy of this person flipping their lid. It's kind of hard to talk to this person. It's really hard. I mean, you can talk to them, but it's just, I don't know. It's just the energy of, it's very sticky. They hold on to things here. All right, fearful. Afraid of losing themselves by loving you. So somebody is afraid of loving. Um, they also are, I was hearing they're also a, very sorry for what they have done. If any offense has been committed against you. This person is um, chained by their ego as well. They have a lot of regret. And so they self-sabotage. I was also hearing whoever this person is. Obsessed with your body or the physical physique. So somebody is obsessed with the physicality of a relationship. Okay. We pulled the um, dates lookalikes here earlier. So there is somebody definitely that... You know, that definitely has a type. They definitely have a type. I was hearing like big booty, this and that. Like, uh, I w and I was also hearing like, does he want me? You know, there is the energy of somebody having a specific type. So I don't know if you're dating, maybe, and this might, this probably sounds toxic. I'm not going to encourage you to do this, but there is an energy of just, <laughs> I don't know, looking at the ex-girlfriend, seeing what they look like, you know, I'm not saying stalk anybody, but this is for somebody who is aware, like, I don't know, like if you have like a, like a boyfriend or somebody you're dating and you're on their Facebook and you see pictures of ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends, you know, you can kind of tell what this person's type is, okay? And for some of you, this person could be like, um, like thick or I don't know, very fit, I don't know, blonde brunettes. I don't know. It's like a specific type here. <laughs> they are lying through their teeth, hoping others believe it. So we pulled out the lying card earlier in the reading. So there is somebody who is lying, who's not really being honest at all. Okay. Heartbroken over the loss of you and hoping to come back together. So yeah, I was picking up on that with the fearful card. So yeah, somebody definitely self-sabotage and they are heartbroken over losing you and they're hoping to come back. They're hoping that you will accept them back, Taurus. Or this could be the other way around, Taurus, where you're heartbroken and you're hoping to come back together with um, your person but there is an energy of somebody lying not really being honest here I see um, you may be in this energy where you're withholding information maybe you're telling somebody you don't care about them and you really do or you're acting a certain way you know op you're acting opposite of um, how you truly feel bottom of the deck we have their bills are more than their salary trying to make ends meet so somebody is definitely living living paycheck to paycheck their bills are more than their salary uh, for some of you this person may not want another bill maybe this person uh, looks at you as a bill in some way or vice versa all right what else is going on with Taurus All right, seclusion. So Taurus, you're spending some time alone. You're disconnecting from people who are no longer serving you, who are no longer uh, of use to you. Uh, emotionally shut down, solitude, isolation, gossip. So there's some gossip. So 
some gossip folks around. So you could be the talk of the town. Did I see any gossip here? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You know, t for some of you, you could be in the spotlight. It could be tabloids, things like that. Because, you know, I see internet, toxic internet schemes. So there could just be lies being spread over the internet, rumors, jealousy, just bullshit. Everybody's, t it's the energy of everybody's gossiping. Some of you are saying, you know what, I'm secluding myself. I'm not responding to the gossip. I'm not you know, allowing this negativity to enter my world. Like, no, I'm done with that shit. All right. Dreams, messages and sleep, spiritual downloads. So you are focused on um, growing spiritually. Some of you could be getting uh, dreams. These could be prophetic dreams. Um, I was, I don't know why I was hearing like intuitive dreams. <laughs> maybe there's something, maybe a message had came through in your dream state. Um, but receiving messages and sleep, spiritual downloads. So you're getting some spiritual downloads and maybe confirmation came through, through gossip. Maybe you had a dream about the situation, okay? And it came through gossip, like, okay? Like it, it was confirmed through some gossip or something like that. Fall, harvest, preserve, decay. So there's something that you're needing to let go. This is definitely an energy of letting go. This is the season of letting go, Taurus. There's something you're needing to let go of. Some of you are maybe needing to let go of gossip or uh, maybe decide or choose not to be a part of gossip. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sensitive, intuitive, emotional nature makes a lot of sense. I said with the this card, they lose control easily and are not easily consolable. So some of you could be feeling a lot emotionally. Your, your emotions are running high. Some of you could uh, be very sensitive um, or intuitive during this time. I was hearing I feel so much. So some of you are t um, deciding to, you're, you're choosing seclusion so you can heal emotionally. That's for some of you. Yeah, nurture. You're nurturing yourself. It makes a lot of sense because nurture is here as well. Nurture. And then we have the nurture card. So spirit is definitely speaking to you, Taurus. All right. This could have something to do with the mother figure or your maternal um, instincts or energy. So it says care, effort, and persevere. So maybe you're needing to mother yourself, nurture yourself, or maybe it's nurturing a relationship, children. I see here a tree. So whenever I see a tree, I think about the family tree. So maybe this is a time for you to be more nurturing. Maybe, um, I don't know what I was hearing, like uh, healing, karmic ties or um i don't know generational issues okay what else do we got i gotta go here soon all right two more cards we got communication so communication coming through all right makes a lot of sense with the internet social media so it could be text messages it says incoming message conversation so somebody could be opening up the lines of communication um, you could be getting a message. I was hearing left on red. So some of you could be getting a message here. It could be about gossip or it could be about anything, but there is an energy of leaving somebody on red or the lines of communication opening up here. So on the mend, healing, moving through lessons. So you're healing and moving through the lessons here. Um, you could be healing a relationship as well. You're, you could be um, healing uh, maybe um, something or a part of you that's connected to your mother figure here. Okay, I was hearing maternal instincts, but this is definitely energy of like mending your heart, healing your heart after a very difficult emotional time here. So makes a lot of sense with the fall card here because fall is about release. It's decaying. It's, it's laying something to rest. Um, and then we have, you know, on the mend. So laying something to rest, healing. And you can't really heal if you continue to hold on to pain or whatever the hell this is. Low vibrations. You can't really heal that way. So some of you are releasing this. You're, you're letting go in order to heal, to move forward. Okay. Moving through lessons here. Um, I'll change to Raphael. Speak to Taurus. What does Taurus need to know at this time? Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael. 
Archangel Raphael, what does Taurus need to know in the month of May? What is your message to Taurus? Where is your message to Taurus? Um, this could, I was hearing a mother, daughter, father, excuse me, a mother, daughter, it could be father, mother, mother, daughter, or mother and child. Okay, it's a child and parent dynamic here. That's the focus. All right, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. It makes a lot of sense because on the bottom of the deck here, we have inner wisdom here. Inner wisdom, intuition, insight, knowledge. So your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So you need to trust your intuition. Some of you are definitely getting spiritual downloads here with the dreams card. So trust your inner guidance. It's real and trustworthy. I was hearing, I knew something was up. Honor and trust your feelings. So Taurus, you need to honor and trust your feelings. This is like, <laughs> this is like, trust 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 like you need to trust yourself trust your instincts trust your feelings like you know prayer will help the situation so prayer will help your situation i was hearing a strong pair prayer be gentle with yourself so taurus you need to be gentle with yourself don't beat yourself up take it easy on yourself Okay, let's see what the trees have to say. Trees, trees, the trees, the Taurus. Okay, you have some new growth, okay? It could be literally new growth on your head. <laughs> Or just a new growth within you, like you're growing as a person, as an individual, as a, a spirit. Okay, inner voice again. Here we go. You're needing to trust your inner inner voice here. Listen to your inner voice. I feel like your inner voice is growing. Okay, you're you're becoming more receptive to your inner voice, to your intuition, healing. So you're definitely needing to heal, or you're on a journey of healing. And we have the second second chakra which is sacral so sacral chakra and the function is pleasure sexuality it's our our place of creativity so some of you are needing to heal your sacral chakra okay heal the energies surrounding your sacral chakra uh, intentions and remember to set your intentions okay um your action forward Where's your action, action forward? Taurus, your action forward in the month of May. Okay. Let's see. Your action forward as far as balancing the scales in your life towards, uh, could be towards, you know, creating abundance, prosperity in your life. Um, it could be action towards overcoming obstacles. Let's just see. Let's see. Let's see what we need to see. All right. Ace of Swords. So you're needing to cut through the bullshit to see the truth of the matter. Okay. Um, this arm is emerging from the water. So some of you could be allowing your emotions to get the best of you. So you're needing to use logic, use clarity, uh, eliminate the distractions and no longer allow uh, your emotions or negativity to bring you down or to confuse you bottom of the deck we have the six of swords so this is moving on so some of you are definitely encouraged to move on and move forward here and i do see that some of you are already in this ace of swords energy you're seeing the truth of the matter and and deciding to move forward okay you're eliminating the distraction. So Taurus, this is the end of your reading. God bless.